Anytime I think about starting a new year, I'm both excited and fearful. Excited because it's something new. Fearful because I have doubts about my ability to achieve my goals for the new year. When we're doubtful, we can envision that Christ is with us as we try to achieve our goals. In fact, try saying a prayer before you write your goals down. In Psalms it reads, when your doubts fill your mind, your comfort gave me renewed hope and cheer. Ask the Holy Spirit to guide you. Not only do you have to write the list down, you have to create the strategy to achieve the goals. Once you write them down, you have to start communicating them. I tape my goals to my home office so I can read them daily. I often read them out loud. You have to repeat them until you believe them. Research shows that reading out loud helps the brain categorize information and retain it. Make the goals a part of your being, your everyday life. Read your goals out loud. Communicate what you want to achieve in order to believe it. Each month, evaluate the list and mark off what has been accomplished or jot down the progress for each goal. Perhaps rework the strategy and write down what else could be done to fill your goals. Wisely setting goals leads to better results. In Proverbs it reads, the plans of the diligent lead to profit. We're called to bring God into our goal settings. The Bible teaches us against two extremes, never setting goals and setting goals with no thought of God. The balance alternative is found in James. It reads, instead you ought to say, if it is the Lord's will, we will live and do this or that. Instead, you ought to say, if it is the Lord's will, we will live and do this or that. It's good to make plans as long as we leave room for God to change our plans. His goals take precedence over ours. We also read in Proverbs, in his heart a man plans his course, but the Lord determines his steps. Yes, we have our ideas and want to make our plans. That is all good, but we must remember that God will ultimately accomplish his sovereign desires. So ask yourself, do our goals make room for the unexpected? Do we love God's will more than our own? The ultimate goal must be our first priority. Seek first his kingdom, his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. In the Gospel of Matthew, we're told, Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. There really is no need for me to be fearful if I focus on Christ and honor Him. He will see to it that the best results are the eternal results, which are mine. This has been a Christ-centered communication message. I'm Vanessa Denhagarmo, a communications evangelist.